Hello everyone, welcome back to Neo Scavenger. Alright, well my first life ended... Well, it was a pretty good life, but it ended at the hands of cholera, unfortunately. And I just got the silver urn, damn it. Anyway, let's begin a new life. Life number two. Alright. I want to be a, a bit different this time, just to change things up. Okay, so I definitely want athletic, I want to be able to move fast. I definitely want botany, because of the food. How easy it is to get food with that. Or at least know whether the food is poisonous. Also, I think I want medic this time. Since I died of cholera. Yeah, I want to know more about... What's affecting me. This is improved healing rates via procedures, training, and sterilization techniques. More detailed stat bars on conditions screen. Yeah, so I'm... I don't know exactly what that's going to do. Like, I don't know if that's really going to help me heal from cholera or what. But, we'll see what it does. I'll definitely take metabolism, as always, get an extra slot. That's kind of an easy one. It's not too hard to beat that when you have botany to go along with it. So. What else do I want? I kind of want strong and tough again. Nah, let's go something different. But what? I just... I want to take stuff like electrician and mechanic, but I just know that they don't really matter. Early on. From what I've seen, they just don't seem to really matter. Picking is maybe. And this time I'm I don't think I'll take Insomniac. That was a bit hard to deal with. It was really hard to get a good night's sleep. Let's take something else interesting. Eh. Trapping? No, I don't want the Dogman fur coat. As awesome as it is, it feels too much like I'm gaming the system if I'm always doing the same thing. It's like that takes care of your heat early on, and you don't need to worry too much about finding any source of heat, either from uh, building a fire or just finding clothes and whatnot, because that's like the early game thing. So let's do something else, but uh, what? I'll take melee. Oh, I could even leg trip in combat. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Let's give that a shot. Okay, so all this stuff is going to be pretty much the same. So anything that's happened before, I'm just not going to read. Okay, so I'm obviously not going to be fighting the dogman. So instead... Oh, wait, no, I can actually fight it with melee. Instead of strong. Okay, I could do that. Let's not, though. Let's do something else. Let's use botany. A plant catches your eye as you scan the room for supplies. Racinus communis. The castor oil plant is growing in from the window. You remember that this plant can be highly toxic, and most animals will avoid it if possible. Breaking off some branches, you quickly stomp on the leaves and seeds, rubbing the fragments on your feet and hands. You scatter the rest in the doorway, just in time. The predatory dog-like creature comes to a halt as it reaches the doorway, sniffing the plants and shaking its head in disgust. You thrust your hands towards it, and it steps back further, obviously uninterested in your toxic scent. With one more huff, it pads down the hall, looking for more palatable prey. Oh yeah, defeated a dogman. Well, kind of defeated. At least got away from the dogman. With my knowledge of botany. That, my friends, is science. Okay, no point in looking at the records. Already done that. Okay, let's just leave. Scavenge using medical knowledge. Sure. 
Oh, okay. Right, so if you have good vision, you can find the multi-tool. If you have medical knowledge, you can get some mez. It's cool. Let's see what's actually in here. Clean rags. Oh, you can actually get prescription antibiotics. That might have saved me from the cholera. Maybe. I don't know if antibiotics actually treat cholera. Oh, so even some more. Excellent. That'll be very handy. Okay. Let's go find something to fight with. So again, my immediate concern now that I do not have the dogman fur coat is temperature. If you notice, the outdoor temperature is extremely low. So th this outdoor temperature thing is actually kind of misleading. It makes it sound like that is the temperature of the air, your environment, but that's actually not true. It's... Yeah, what is it? It's how it's how warm the environment is to you. In other words, if you put on more clothes, this will actually go up, even though it's obviously not increasing the temperature of the environment. If that makes any sense. So there's your current temperature, and then there's how much the environment or oh god, I can't even explain it. It doesn't even make any damn sense. Whatever. Anyway, it's blue. That's bad. It should be right about in the middle. Middle means comfortable. Too high means overheated. Middle is good. Low is bad. In other words, I'm going to freeze to death in a couple days. So I need clothes. Bad. Okay, already seen that, so I'll skip that. <laughs> the tarp! Yay! I do have a glass shiv, that's nice. And some dirty rags. Actually, can I... Hold on, let me see if I can craft something. No, I think I need a multi-tool of some sort. Because you can make, like, a spear. It's a torch. Yeah. Yeah, I need something to, like, whittle down the tree branch to make a... A spear of some sort. Or a sharpened stick or whatever it is. Player is shivering. Yep, I'm gonna die very, very quickly. Some point scavenging here, I'm just gonna find berries, which is not what I need. Yeah, you can see my temperature is already just freaking plummeting. Give. Me. Close. I'll take a multi-tool. <laughs> Put the glass shiv inside of the medical box. No one will ever expect it. Great. I've got moderate... moderate hypothermia. This is probably gonna be like a ten-minute life. No useful items found. Wonderful. I can't even make a fire. I don't have a sleeping bag. I don't have any way to make a fire. Yep. Hmm. Plastic shopping bag. Take that. What's more effective, the multi-tools knife or glass shiv? don't know. Yeah, I'm... I'm gonna die in, like, two seconds. I need clothes, like, right now. Tarp is not closed. Can I wear a tarp? No, I can't wear a tarp. God damn it. Ooh. An even better shopping bag.
Some piece of an old newspaper. Well, I'm going to read this well because this is probably the last thing I'm ever going to do in my life. Road to Nowhere. Faced with never-ending budget deficits, the Michigan Department of Transportation is to commence grinding of asphalt roads into gravel. Critics of the resurfacing budget reclamation initiative claim that this will only further balkanize the declining neighborhoods outside of major cities. Governor Jones assured the public that focus of the program will be on secondary roads and low traffic zones. Oh my god. The world is falling apart. Resurfacing Budget Reclamation Initiative. Wow. Okay. I... I... I'm, I'm like, I'm dead. <laughs> Look at this bar. Like, I'm fucking dead. Okay. Up ahead, it looks like there's some sort of abandoned car. It's covered in filth. What glass remains is almost opaque with grime, so it's been here a while. Hard to tell if anything's inside from here. The door on this side is open, though, and it looks like a tattered sleeping bag spills through the opening. I don't know if a sleeping bag is going to save my life, but I will freaking take it. Give me it. It's filthy, and you shudder to think of all the things that might have lived in here over the years. But it's warmth, and not freezing to death beats hygiene any day. <laughs> Is it going to be enough? Okay. Oh, that might actually be enough. Now that I have a sleeping bag on the ground, you can see my outdoor temperatures up to about midpoint. Hmm. I wonder if I can cut this into, like, clothes or something. <laughs> no, it doesn't seem so. Okay. Well, let's go in here, and let's put this down. So yeah, you can see when I put this into the campsite, the outdoor temperature goes up. So... Let's... Uh, either I'm going to instantly die, or I'm going to be okay. Oh! I'm... I'm okay. My temperature's going up. Okay, excellent. Well, I need to keep waiting here. I guess I'm just going to keep passing turns. Yeah, my temperature's going up. Okay, cool. I just saw a man with a gun. By the way, the temperature's gonna go down at night time, so... I, I might not even survive the night? What the... Oh, fuck. Stranger picks up the tarp. Stranger picks up the corn cola plastic bottle. Stranger sees me. Stranger is at a range of four, which is extremely close. Stranger also has a hunting rifle. Oh, God. They're strong. But they're pulling a sled awkwardly, and they're unable to run. Okay, well, yeah, well, they have a hunting rifle. I'm assume I'm just going to assume it's loaded. Hi. Oh. Fuck. Stranger attacks player and hits. Stranger tore open player's upper left arm with a .308 rifle SP. Player is stunned and unable to move for a moment. Player is in minor pain, and some activity is affected. Then, player offers to talk with Blue Frog. Player is bleeding. Uh. It says I'm only in minor pain, even though I just got. even though apparently my upper left arm was tore open. Anyway. Blue Frog Leader. <laughs> what? Started wielding crowbar with strap. Blue Frog advances towards player. You know what? I've gotten off to a pretty shitty start. Also, I have a good melee skill. Let's see what happens. Let's see what I've got here. Alright, apparently I need to be closer.
Let's parry. Parrying. Okay, I think we're still not close enough to actually hit each other. Parry again. Ooh, it worked. Blue Frog tries to tackle player, but misses. Blue Frog has fallen to the ground. Okay. Now that you're on the ground, I'm going to kick you. Player kicks Blue Frog while they're down. Blue Frog's lower stomach was whipped. Blue Frog has fallen to the ground and must regain footing to continue. I'm going to fucking kick you again, you piece of shit. Blue Frog pulls player down to the ground. Oh, fuck, he pulled me down with him. <sighs> Player's upper left, lar uh, upper left leg was whipped. Okay. Let's roll dodge. Yeah. Okay, I guess that was kind of stupid. I still need to stand up. <laughs> Blue Frog gets up. Player gets up. Okay. Both on even footing. Now I'm going to fucking tackle you. Players fall on the ground. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're both on the ground again. That's I guess that's not terribly effective. I'm just going to get up again. And I'm going to just attack you. And I hit the player battered blue frog's lower right arm with a punch. Wait. I'm using my fists? Oh, fuck, I'm using my fists. Shit. I didn't switch my glass shiv. Alright. This should be more effective. And I was pulled down. Get up. And attack. Cut Blue Frog's... Oh god. Player cut Blue Frog's head with a glass shiv. That sounds nasty. Now we're both bleeding. Let's attack you again. Cut his left arm with a shiv. Looks like he tried to attack me but missed. Leg trip. Yes. Yep, fallen to the ground. Cool, tripped him. And stab you. I think I'm winning. Grazed his stomach with a glass shiv. Blue Frog is in severe pain and is having trouble concentrating. Let's attack again. Glass shiv has fallen apart. Oh god, now I just have my fists. Okay, so my advantage here is that I'm not in severe pain. We're both bleeding, but I, at least I'm not in severe pain. <clears throat> Raise weapon and threaten to use it. <laughs> Raising the weapon would be my fist. Hmm. I'm going to demand their surrender. It didn't work. At least he missed. Fine, I'm gonna punch you. And I'm gonna continue to punch you. And I'm gonna go- oh god, I think I'm like dead. Fuck, I'm not entirely sure what was part of the last move, but I'm just looking at this. I'm vulnerable, coughing up blood, stunned, shock, unconscious, I've fallen, and I'm bleeding. Uh, hey. But they have the same thing. They're just as fucked as me. Blue Frog has passed out from unbearable pain. Blue Frog is unconscious. I believe I'm unco- Yep, I'm also unconscious. Player is bleeding internally. This didn't go so well. Something approaches as you slumber. I wouldn't call being unconscious slumbering, but okay. Is it an angel? Because I think that's what I'm going to need to survive. Wonderful, thank, thank you for the help. What is this? Oh, what? Something... What? Is, is something still approaching? I think I might have bugged out the game. I think the game's broken. Let 
Wait, something. Okay, something's happening. Player has lost blood, affecting their activities somewhat. Okay. I'm just bleeding. I'm just, I'm just bleeding. I can't do anything. I'm still unconscious. Oh, for fuck's sakes, wake up! I'm so dead. I've been bleeding for like, what, hours at this point? Players exposed to easy attack for a moment. And I died. <laughs> I lasted 15 hours. The player has died of a severe traumatic brain injury. Now that's what I meant when I said that the first, my first life went surprisingly well when I lasted for about two hours. Well, two hours of real playtime, but it was four, what, four days and something hours in game. That was pretty good. This is a more typical life. Yep. Well, <laughs> that was the sad story, the sad tale of life number two. Thank you for watching.